This YouTube channel is called English by Ayman and they've only uploaded 33 videos which has gotten them almost 50,000 subscribers. And when you look at the videos they are creating, these are simple educational videos that are adding so much value to the lives of the people. When you look at this video that they made, it's only educating people about the opposite words and it was only uploaded five months ago and got almost half a million views just by educating people on one 1000 opposite words. I will show you on how you can create this similar if not exact video and start uploading them on your YouTube channel and start making hundreds of dollars if not thousands of them. So we're going to create a video like this one in four easy steps. So the first thing that you need to do is to come to ChatGPT and once you're on ChatGPT you can give it this simple prompt that says Give me a list of 20 English words and their opposites. From there, click on enter and we're going to wait for ChatGPT to give us a list of different words. And once it's done, we can go through each word and see if what it has written is absolutely correct. You rarely get something wrong, but just for you to be sure, because you'll be educating people, just go through everything that ChatGPT has written for you. And once the first step is done, this takes us to the second step, which is converting our lesson into an audio. We can simply use any AI tool that we prefer, but as for me, I love 11 Labs. So we're going to go to 11 Labs. So once we are on 11 Labs, we will go back to ChatGPT and we will copy the entire lesson and come back to 11 Labs and paste it there. So once we paste in our work or lesson like that, what we simply have to do is give it a little introduction. You can write the introduction yourself or you can use ChatGPT to write the introduction for your lesson. So once you paste in your introduction like that, what you simply have to do is add some exclamation mark to your words so that the AI tool can get a feeling of what you want to come across. From there, what you simply have to do is click on this button here and select a voiceover. There are a lot of voiceover artists Choose a voiceover artist who will suit what you are creating. So once that is done, just click on this button that says generate speech. And once the voiceover has been generated, what you simply have to do is click on download and that's if you're happy with it. Now that we are done generating our voiceover, the second thing that we need to do is to generate another voiceover artist using a different voice. If you had used a male voice at the beginning, this time around, I would love you to use a female voice. Or if you had used a female voice, I would love you to use a male voice as you'll be generating a second voiceover. The purpose of us generating two voices is because we want another voice to be repeating what the first voice will be saying. So we will delete the introduction because it is not needed for the second voice. And once that is done, we will click on this button and we'll look for a different voice. And once you're done generating your second audio, just click on the button that says download so that it can be saved into your PC. So once you download your audio, this takes us to step number three, which is creating our full video. And to do that, we're going to use Canva. So this is the tool that we're going to use to create the full video, just like this one we are seeing that got almost half a million views. So once we are on Canva, we're going to click on this icon that says video. And from there, we'll select the first one that says video again, which is 19, 1920 by 1080 pixels. So once we're on this blank canvas, what we're going to do is to design our background page. And it doesn't have to be complicated or hard. What you have to do is just come to element, just put a few elements that will feel or suit your video. And once you're on element, just search for shapes and you can use any shape that you feel like using in your video. For example, we can select the first one and once it's on the design page, we can increase its size so that it can fit our screen like that and we can place it in where we feel like placing it. Once that is done, we can also add another shape like this one. We can also increase its size like that and we can place it there. From there, we can look for a line like this one and we can rotate it to increase its thickness. Just click on the line and click on these line styles and just increase its thickness like that. And from there, you can also change its color, something like that. So this side will be having some words and she'll be having the opposite of those words. So what we have to do is just come to text and click on any style and type in opposite words. And just place the words here. 
Once our background is finished, this takes us to another step where we need to start introducing our characters to the scene. What we have to do is upload our audio to Canva. Once they upload it, just come to Uploads and go to Audio and select the first one. And once it's placed like that, you listen to it. So after listening to it, the first word is hot. So this is where the word is starting from. So what I'm going to do is I'll split my audio like that. And I'll also split the page like that. And where it's ending from, I'll also split the audio like that. So this part of an audio is for the first word, which is hot, according to our script and according to our audio. So what we're going to do is we'll come to elements and we'll look for a graphic that shows something hot like this icon. So we'll press this icon here and we'll come to text and we'll grab one style and we'll type the word hot and we'll place the word hot here. So we can change the color of the text, the font style, and we can add any effects that's if we want to. So once that is done, what I have to do is listen to it and hear which next word is being introduced to the scene. So on this part, this is where the second word, which is the opposite of hot, is being introduced. So I'll split the audio as well, and I'll also split the page. So once that is done, I'll also split this page into two, like that. So this first page is for the hot word, and this second object is for the code word. So what I'm going to do is, while it is selected like that, I'll go back to elements, and I'll search for code, and I'll select this icon, and I'll place it here. I'll click on this text, and I'll duplicate it. Now pl I'll place it here. Then I'll type the word code. Okay, so this is perfect. So on our first page, we only have code, and on our second page, we have both code and code. Okay, so this is perfect. So what we can simply do is animate these objects that we have on the screen so that they have that effect as they are being displayed to a sprint. So we can start with the first page for code, and we can select this word code, and we can come to animation, and we'll select the breed effect, and we'll click on in just as it is being introduced to the scene. So we can also click on our text. And for our text, we're going to select a type right. Okay, so this is perfect. We're also going to animate our next page. So the only part we're going to animate is this one and this one. We're not going to animate the hot part. So we'll just select this one and we'll come to animation. We'll select the same animation that we had chosen. And we'll also select type right for our text like that. So once that is done, we're going to increase the size of our pages. And once that is done, we're going to click on our next page and we're going to delete this object, which is there. And once that is done, we're going to add other elements to the scene. From there, we'll also drag our audio with us to the next page like that. And this audio, we're going to drag it as well and place it here. And we'll align this audio with object like that. So once we are done, we'll listen to it and hear the next word which is being introduced. So once we are done, our next word is fast. So we'll split the audio and we'll go to elements and we'll search for the word fast and we'll come to graphics again. And we'll search for an object that is representing something that is moving very, very fast like this one. So place this one here and we'll flip it so that it may first stay at the side. And we'll go back to text and we'll type in the word fast. From there, we'll listen to the audio again, and we'll split it, and we'll bring in another character that is representing the opposite word that we have for fast. So once we split the audio like that, we'll also split the page. So on this page, we'll split it again up to that much. So this first part is for fast, and this second part is for slow. So we'll go to elements, and we'll search for something slow. So click on this one, old man, perfect for our video and we'll click on this text and we'll duplicate it place it here and we'll type in the word slow like that this is perfect so we're going to animate our our image that we have and our text same applies for this next page we're going to animate our text and we'll animate our image as well so once we are done we'll keep on repeating this same process until we are done with the entire lesson and once you're done, the next thing that you need to do is go back to your downloads and bring in that second audio that you had generated. Just drag it on your timeline like that. And you need to listen to it. So where your second audio is introducing the first word, which is hot. For example, 
to split the audio like that. So once you split it like that, just drag it a little bit this side and bring the audio that you've just cut next to the first audio like that. From there again, listen to it, split it, drag the rest of the audio to the next word and drag the other word next to the other opposite word. And once you're done, listen to it, split the audio again and keep on repeating this process until you feel the second audio on every part where it is needed. So once you're done adding your second audio, the next thing that I would really love you to add to your video is some background music. Just come to Elements and search for some music that you would love. Once that is done, the next thing that is needed is for you to add some introduction to your first page so that it is not just blank and boring. And once that is done, all you have to do is just come to share, download your video and upload it on your YouTube channel. If there is any question that you have, let me know in the comment section below because there is more value that awaits you. See you in this next video. God bless you. Opposite words are words that mean the complete opposite of each other. For example, Hot, hot, cold, cold, fast, fast, slow, slow, happy, happy, sad, sad.